Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a highly requested video. Um, it's been about a year since I did my last uh, makeup collection video. Um, I did one last October and I thought I would do an update on it. I wasn't actually sure if I was going to film this because in my shop, my stash videos, I pretty much show you guys my whole collection. Um, but uh, since I had so many requests, I decided to go ahead and do it. Um, I have obviously changed homes since the last time that I did a collection video so uh, my collection does look quite a bit different I just store things a lot differently and then of course I've acquired new products and gotten rid of a lot of products over the last year so hopefully you guys enjoy watching this updated um, updated collection video thanks so much for watching you guys I'll see you next time bye guys alright guys so this is my um, makeup table and this is where I sit to film as well um, so let me kind of start over here in this corner. Um, this is my um, perfume collection. So I keep all my perfume in this little um, cabinet. Next to that I have my uh, nail polish collection on this little acrylic um, holder. I store my, um, my tripod right here in this corner when I'm not using it. And usually my camera is attached to it and I just kind of leave it there. Um, but currently I'm holding my camera. Um, and then this glittery bin right here. That is where I store my empties until I'm ready to film an empties video. Um, it's getting pretty full so I actually probably need to film one soon. Um, so that's what's in there. And then I have my Alex 9 drawers next to that. So I'll start on top. On top here I store um, some lipsticks. I have this little acrylic container which I got this at TJ Maxx. Um, mostly all my MAC lipsticks are in here and then I have a few of these little like sample size lipsticks. I love sample size lipsticks. I think they're so adorable so I like to store those right in front. And then I have some other um, random ones here. There's a couple Stila, a couple um, Kat Von D, and a Lime Crime one. Um, behind that here is my um, letter holder thing where I keep um, some of my palettes. Um, mostly like some larger palettes that just don't fit in my drawer. So those are back here. And um, yeah, just some random palettes. I don't have a particular order for those. So um, let's get into the drawers. So this top drawer here is lipstick products. So I have like all my balms and things like that on this side. Um, this side is like some of the smaller glosses that actually fit in this container. Um, on the side here is all my lip pencils. And then in the front, this honestly is the least organized as my lip products. I really need a better system, but I'm trying to figure out a better system. Um, so there's more like larger glosses here and some like uh, liquid lipsticks and glosses. It's all just kind of mixed together. So that's what's in the top drawer. The second drawer is more lip products. So the rest of my lipsticks that don't fit in that container on top are in here. So I have just a lot of random, uh, mostly drugstore in here. So there's some NYX. This one is, I think that's what, Avon or something. Um, there's some Milani ones in here. Um, this one is an Eve Pearl. Uh, what's under here? That one is, oh, a little Tarte pencil. That should be over here. Um, so anyways, it's just kind of random. All my um, Victoria's Secret lipsticks. And then in here are some like balm sticks and like lip pencil type products. Um, so that's what's in here. And then in the back I have this little tray where my melted lipsticks and my um, LA Girl uh, lip paints are back there. So that is my lip drawer. Um, the third drawer down I have some of my eye products in this drawer. So um, again, I mean it's not super super organized. Okay, so um, like this little box here has all of my loose pigments um, and things like that. And then there's some cream shadows that from e.l.f. that are a little too big to fit in my single shadow drawer. So that's in this little box. And then this um, acrylic container back here just has a bunch of small palettes in here. So that's mostly what I store in here is anything that's a smaller palette. Um, some drugstore and some high end. It's all just really mixed together. The next drawer down, I have all of my single shadows. So I actually don't have that much left in this category. I really cleared out a lot of these, so I probably will end up consolidating this down and um, maybe adding something else to this drawer. I'm not sure yet, but um, I don't use a ton of single shadows, so I got rid of a, a bulk of them when I did my declutter. But 
I did save a few things, some of the ones that I really enjoy. So I have a few Milani ones left. I have a Kat Von D one. This one is from Victoria's Secret. I have a couple cargo ones, um, an Inglot, uh, NARS, just some, you know, random. Again, it's drugstore and high end mixed together. Um, and then the ones behind it, these ones are like cream based ones. So I have a bunch of the uh, Maybelline color tattoos. Um, I think this is a, or there is a paint pot in here. This is a paint pot um, from MAC. And then back here, I have um, this I need to consolidate so I can get to them better. But these are like those e.l.f. Um, what do they even call these? Individual mineral eyeshadows. So um, I have a bunch of those left. So that's what's in this drawer. The next drawer down is all of my um, like eye pencils and mascaras. Let me come closer here. So here are all my eye pencils. This side is all of my like brow type products, but I did put like a few eyeshadow sticks in there too, just because there was extra room. So all my um, cream based shadow sticks are in here. I don't have a lot of those. And then my mascaras. Some of these are um, unopened that I haven't opened yet, but um, I try not to keep too many mascaras on hand at a time because um, I don't want them to go bad. So like, a bunch of these are new right here. None of these have been opened yet. Um, over here, so I'm waiting to open those until I use some more up. This is a liner. So that's that drawer. The next drawer down is um, the rest of my eyeshadow palettes, the larger palettes. Honestly, this drawer is getting a little full. I need to move some up to the top because I have too many down here right now, but um, I can't even go through all of these with you guys and show you, but um, I, I go through them a little bit more detailed in my Shop My Stash videos if you're interested in watching those. I, I go through it. Um, these palettes a little bit better so you can see everything that's in here, but I do have a lot of eyeshadow palettes. I love eyeshadow palettes. It's like my favorite, favorite thing. So anyways, that's what's in that drawer. Um, okay, this drawer is like all of my face product overflow. So on my other set of drawers, you'll see the rest of my um, blushes and bronzers and stuff like that, but the stuff that doesn't fit over there goes in here. So I have some like larger palettes. Um, this is my MAC blush palette, which I only have three in there currently. Um, this is a Coastal Sense blush palette and um, the Coastal Sense Eclipse palette, which is a concealer palette. Um, I have my Park Avenue Princess from Tarte in here. Um, some of my OCC, um, what are these called? Cream concentrate color cream color concentrates they're really great cream blushes um, some clean color blush palettes from shop miss a um, so this just kind of all of the overflow of my um, face products in there all right this drawer is my messy drawer so this the purpose of this drawer is anytime I get something new um, I pretty much just throw it in here and that way when I go to do my shop my stash I will pull from here first so that um, I can try out the new products. So they stay in here until it's time for them to be opened up and tried out. So all the stuff I just hauled for you guys is in here. I haven't opened them yet. I'm waiting until I update my shop, my stash. Um, and then also if I pull something out, like I just went on vacation, so I had pulled some items that weren't in my everyday makeup drawer, so I just throw them in here until I get around to putting them away where they belong. So this is just kind of my like needs attention drawer, I guess. And then the bottom drawer here is where I keep like my travel size and samples. So this whole section is travel size products. So before I travel, I'll check in here to see, um, you know, what I have. And then I know if I need to buy anything else, but um, I have quite a bit. A lot of these came from like sample boxes and stuff like that. Um, and then in the back, there's like the paper samples that I have. Okay. So next, we're moving along here to the desktop. So this is my um, desktop. This is where I get ready. Um, I do have this little um, stand here that I made, and it has some jewelry in there and a pair of sunglasses. These are my makeup brushes, which are very dirty right now. I need to wash those today. Um, I have this little container with some Q-tips in it, and then I have like my facial sprays here. Um, so I have like my Fix Plus, my All Nighter spray, my Kula setting spray. I also have this little um, softener from um, First Aid Beauty. I actually use this for my psoriasis on my scalp when it's really bad. Um, so I have that there. This container has some bobby pins in it. Um, this is what I use to clean my desktop, so I keep it out. My mirror, some tape my little candle, and my Bose docking station to charge my phone. 
underneath I have like my traveling case for my camera and some makeup um, traveling cases. This box is full of the stuff for the giveaway that ends today. And then I have a little trash can here. Okay, so this first drawer in here has, um, this here is my use it or lose it box. So all of my use it or lose it items for 2015 are in this little box here. I keep my deodorant just right up front in front of this box. Keep like my brush, my lighter, comb, um, my everyday face products are in here. So like eye creams, things like that, that's all in here. I have a pair of scissors in here. Um, so an um, eye pencil sharpener. So kind of tools that I need are all in here. And then in this drawer, this is my everyday makeup drawer, so I do update this every two weeks or so. I will put a link for you guys for the last one that I did. Um, so basically what I do is I keep like my concealers, foundations, powders, things like that in this drawer. I keep my palettes that I um, have pulled in the center section. And then in here I keep everything else, so um, lip products, mascaras, um, blushes, bronzers, everything like that goes in this box here. And I, like I said, I rotate that every, every couple weeks or so. All right, so then moving over here, I have this little set of drawers that I think it's called the Miki drawers. And there's four drawers in here. You get three smalls and a large at the bottom. So this top drawer here I use for all my complexion products. So in here I have my extra foundations, concealers, primers, things like that are all in this drawer here. Um, below that here I have all of my bronzers and blushes. And to be honest, this section is getting really messy because it's just a little bit too much in this drawer. So I'm probably gonna reorganize this and put like only blushes over here and move all my bronzers to that Alex 9 drawers where I have some blushes. So I'll kind of separate them because I think it's too much to try to keep in one drawer. But this is how I have it for now. Um, it used to be blushes on this side and bronzers on this side, but blushes is kind of taking over the drawer. So I have a mix of stuff. I've got some Tarte blushes. Um, this one here is from Laura Geller. I have a couple Milani blushes, some of the Clinique Color Pops. Um, I've got a few bronzers. Um, this is one of my all-time favorite blushes here, this Rock Couture blush from Benefit. It's a beautiful blush. So um, that's what I have in here, blushes and bronzers. And then this drawer down here, this is all of my extra face powders and highlighters. So powder products are in here. I've got like my hourglass powder in here. Um, I've got quite a few Becca um, highlighters. I love Becca highlighters. They're my favorite. I've got this MAC MSF in Soft and Gentle. Um, this Stila highlighter is beautiful. And then um, I've got some like face powders like this Rimmel Stay Matte. Um, Benefit Hello Flawless, um, I've got a NYX Blotting Powder, NYC Smooth Skin, um, I've got like my Translucent Makeup Forever Powder back here, um, stuff hiding in the way back there, this is a Too Faced um, Radiant Glow Face Powder, so that's what's in here, mostly highlighters and powders in there. And then this bottom drawer here is actually my hair products, so it's kind of a mess, but I keep the stuff that I use daily, like I keep like a hairspray in here, some volumizing hair, hair products, um, this is a detangler for when I brush my daughter's hair because her hair gets tangly, I have a, um, a flat iron, a blow dryer, a curling iron, and some hair extensions in there which don't match my current color, so I'll probably pull those out because they don't match me right now. Um, so that's what's in this drawer. Then I have this random little cart here which I need to clean up because it doesn't make much sense. And over here, I really need to do something else with this, but this is where I have my eyelashes currently, is in this little drawer thing here. And it's kind of a mess because I honestly rarely, rarely, rarely wear lashes. So um, they kind of irritate my eyes, so I try not to wear them very often unless I have an event. So that's why they're kind of over here uh, because I rarely use them. So. Anyway, that is my whole collection, and I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below for me. I'd be happy to answer those for you guys, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.